Well, 2020 is set to be the beginning of U.S. space tourism flights with both high-profile companies and upstarts looking to reel in the cash. This month, we're diving into some of the companies looking to infinity and beyond. Yahoo Finance's Inez Ferre has more, focusing on Blue Origin. Blue Origin is a private space company founded by Jeff Bezos, hoping to send regular folks like you and me to space. Bezos says the goal is for millions of people to eventually live and work in space. The company was founded in the year 2000, when Amazon was still widely known for selling books online. Headquartered in Kent, Washington, Blue Origin has about 2,500 employees. Bezos has said he sells about a billion dollars of Amazon stock a year in order to fund Blue Origin. New Shepard is a name of the rocket focused on eventually launching people into suborbital space similar to Virgin Galactic's goal. Blue Origin wants to take tourists to at least 62 miles above Earth, where you can see the Earth against the blackness of space and feel weightlessness. Reservations for New Shepard haven't gone on sale yet, but CEO Bob Smith last year hinted they could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, and it's aiming at sending humans on the journey this year. Like SpaceX, Blue Origin has focused on reusable rockets to drive down the cost of launching payloads into space and it competes with SpaceX for contracts to carry cargo into space. While SpaceX has launched satellites into space on reusable rockets, Blue Origin has sent test payloads. The company is currently working on the new Glenn rocket to send large payloads to orbit starting in 2021. And as for the moon, last year Bezos revealed the Blue Moon Lander prototype, designed to send payloads to the moon in 2023 with a configuration that would carry people to the moon after that. So let's dive into Blue Origin space ambitions. And you know, that, that lunar lander, by the way, NASA's uh, belief is that when we go back to the moon, what will happen is they'll send the capsule from the United States to an orbiting docking station that will then send a different craft that'll go back and forth between station and moon. So maybe that was, you were taking a look at what might be the thing. Anybody signing up? <laughs> it seems like a lot of risk to uh, for something that you want to achieve or, or experience, um, but it is. I mean, it's it's a cross section between a consumer discretionary and kind of a big ticket item with the industrial complex. And you know, I mean, th these companies are coming about. They're starting to become publicly traded companies. The companies are becoming more and more interested in developing this. Um, is it a good investment? Ooh, I mean, I don't mean, I don't mean as a well, ticket. I mean, as a you know, as you say, they're becoming publicly traded. You know, I mean, it's first to market, and I think those that are first to market, you know, if this is a longer term trajectory, there's going to be volatility around that, but there could also be growth. Um, I think that's really early to make that assessment. We like quality businesses that have high cash flow. These companies yeah, yeah, not yeah. there well, but Virgin yet. <laughs> look, for, um, we're talking Blue Origin, but Virgin Galactic's going to launch, they say, by the end of this year, the first space tourism sure. flights. And that's, I realize, I wish I had the ticket price, but it's 200000 a pop. I mean, it's bringing the price down. Yeah, I'm not signing up. I'm good right here on Earth, on terra firma. But I do think that Blue Origin is really interesting because of the rivalry between uh, Bezos and Musk. And there was a story just out today that the reason Amazon's H Q2 disaster happened, supposedly, according to this report from Bloomberg, was that Jeff Bezos was jealous of the tax subsidies that Musk and mm -hmm. Tesla had gotten regarding the batteries and the, and the Gigafactory. So obviously, he is following every step that Elon Musk and SpaceX make. And so I'm watching this space race really closely because of the SpaceX versus Blue Origin yeah. aspect. Space mogul matchup. All right, tune in tomorrow. We're going to be looking at Virgin Galactic, the aforementioned.